What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out Wayward. This is a survival roguelike RPG where you are abandoned on a sentient island that wants things of you. And if you disregard it, it will attack you with the power of spiders. So anyways, we're going to dive on in today, take a look at it. This has been a long time favorite of mine. I really, really like this game. There are some core mechanics that I think just aren't good, but like at the same time, it's still solid enough that I come back to it and I play it much more frequently than other games. And so anyways, welcome to Wayward. If after watching this you want to get the game for yourself, i got a link for you down below in the description. Uh, you can check that out along with my Discord link and my Twitch link. So anyways, let's dive on in and start a new game. Uh, sometimes, you, so this game has a randomized seed, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, sometimes you get islands, so the map generation in this game I think could use some, some labor of love to make sure you have bare basic things to survive for like the first four or five days. Uh, like, you can get bad islands in this game, and if you get a bad island, you'll know it when you see it, because it'll just be unusable. There'll be like nothing you can do anything with. It'll be like a little ten foot island that you're like, well damn, I guess I'll just die then. Other times you get islands that are absolutely splendiferous. And the amount of stuff that they can provide to you, but you take your chances every time you play. Spork, let's dive on in. You can make your own character if you want. Uh, there's no, like, stats or anything like that to allocate. You just make what they look like. This is my dude. His name is Spork, uh, because he's a multi-tool. Um, but anyways, welcome to the island. Uh, we've got our stats up here. We've got our health. That goes down to zero, and you go from being a person to a corpse. We've got our stamina. We've got our hunger, and we've got our thirst. We've also got how much the island likes us or hates us. If it's a negative number, bad things are going to start to happen because the island does not like that. Uh, if it's at, you know, plus 5,000, you'll find that your traps often catch things. You'll catch fish much quicker, and the island seems to be helping you out. So be careful about the amount of resources you take from the island because it is watching. Inside our inventory, we started out with a muscle cert. We started out with some booty shorts so that if worse comes to worse, we can show the island some cheek and hopefully it'll love us. We've got a stick, a bedroll. We've got hay for some reason, a sheaf of hay. We've got potato seeds. We've got some twigs. We've got some rocks over here, so that's good. Some plant roots that can be used for medicine. We've got ourselves an animal skull, a pole. We've got a clay jug of water that's got really good durability, so I'm pretty happy with that. That should last us for a while. We've got a bark torch, and we've got a pickaxe that I'll throw in over there for right now. We've also got a book. Uh, I'm just going to dismantle the book so that we have lots of kindling in the form of paper. Uh, we can use... I, I really don't want to use my plant roots to make a rope. I'd really prefer not to. At the beginning of the game, I like to just cruise around. There's an apple tree over there that's ripening, so that's pretty cool. I just like to cruise around the island at the beginning of the game and, like, see what I can come across. Uh, we can make a sharp rock out of the two rocks that we have, so we've got a superior sharp rock right here. If we can find a stick or something, I feel like we can actually make a, a pretty good knife out of it. Unfortunately, I don't have the stuff for a knife right now. I forget what a knife needs. What does a knife need? A knife needs a string. Okay, I'll keep that in mind then. Uh, the other thing that I want to do is we'll clear that on out. And I'd like to harvest that right there. And then it's still trying... You know what? Forget about it. I don't even care. I just... I want to make a knife, okay? We'll use our medicine to make a knife, because that's exactly the sort of forward-thinking survivalist that we are. But it's given us a superior stone knife that's basically got, like, endless durability. I'm going to go ahead and put that in my right hand. I'm going to use it as a weapon as we go forward. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, too, because, like, this is nice for getting a prevailing view of the rest of the island. But I like to adventure up close. Uh, we're going to look for things that you can maybe do something with around here. So I'm looking for sticks. I'm looking for rocks. I'm looking for dead fish that are along the sides of the ocean that I can cook for dinner. There's there's all kinds of beneficial things you can find around if you just take the time to look. I'm going to collect the batter locks right there. We can use those to make ropes. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them over here too, which means I should be able to get a pretty good supply of ropes going. There we go. Uh, there's a spider over here. He will try to attack us. He is hostile. But we can outrun him pretty easily because our stamina is full. So I'm going to grab you. All right. We're going to head northwards. It looks like there's a tumbleweed right there. That's not that helpful. Don't think we need a tumbleweed right now. What's it tumbling for? God only knows. Uh, but the island sometimes gets upset with you if you kill, like, baby tumbleweeds and stuff. It, it does not like that one little bit. Big old pile of rocks right there. Pick that up for future rock supplies. we got a nice supply of water right there. Good, good, good. That means that with time, I should be able to do something there. Uh, gathering from dead things, so like gathering from like this dead tumbleweed right here will give us positive points with the island. And it's going to level up our botany, which is a skill we're going to need anyways as we go along. So I'm just going to spam over here. 
until I get there. What just leveled up? Something just leveled up. Oh, our metabolism leveled up. Nice. Uh, the spider is unfortunately going to make this gathering difficult. So I'm just going to stab him with a knife until he dies. Unfortunately, I'm poisoned, which virtually guarantees that we're going to die now. Kind of sucks. Uh, not ideal. Would prefer... Would very much prefer not to die, but I think the game's going to press the issue. We're going to go ahead and rest here for a minute. Oh, cool, we didn't die, dude. That's so rare. Like, I always die when I get poisoned. Uh, poison and whatnot in this game, very, very deadly. Just something to keep in mind is that, you know, poison can lead to bad consequences for you. Uh, we'll rest on the ground for a little bit till we get our stamina back. I'm going to have to drink my water because, you know, we're a little bit rough right now. However, I do have spider meat that we can technically cook up. I'm gonna make some more, yeah, make some more, make some more ropies right there. And then I'm gonna harvest this guy for a minute. Not like for a long time, but just for like a little while. I'd like to level up my botany to like 10 or so. There we go. So now we've got some medicine and stuff too. Uh, we took a little nappy boys right there. Is that a is that a carrot up there? I would love a carrot. Is that a carrot that's ready for harvest? It's budding right now. Can I can I have you? Yeah, I'm gonna eat that carrot. Yeah, what's up, Doc? There we go. So we're all carroted out. Uh, I need to fill up my water right here from this little irrigation canal that they've got rocking. Somebody took the time to till this and it looks like there's an extra lettuce over there, which might be more helpful a little bit later. But for right now, I need to find a log. I need to find some sticks. I need to find some things that'll make my life a little bit easier. There's another batter lock down here. I'm gonna collect that real fast. No, dude, I don't care about you, goat. Go, dude, I didn't even mess with you. Man. I will take those button mushrooms right there. Pretty sure we can eat those. So that's going to be a nice little top up that otherwise we wouldn't have had access to. Uh, the red mushrooms, I think, are the ones that you can't eat. The white mushrooms, though, are basically just free real estate. Those little guys right there, I see them behind the tree. I've played this game enough. Uh, those are ready to go, too. I'll take them. More food for me. All right, we're all nice and filled up. That bought us a little bit of time. I normally don't get this lucky. Uh, the island also appears to like it when I eat its mushrooms. So you know what, island? I will willfully put your mushroom in my mouth if it means that you will love me and you will give me opportunities that otherwise did not exist. Because I'm a fan of opportunities. I needs them. I wants them. Uh, I'm going to gather from over here for a second. Basically, I'm just right-clicking and spamming 7 so I can level up my botany. There we go, we got some more herbs too. You love to see it. I don't know why it defaults to using my herbs for crafting, but I wish that it wouldn't. Yeah, put a protection lock on that and put a protection lock on that so it'll stop doing that. So here's the bad news. I'm about to like ruin all of our progress with the island by gathering sticks off a tree. The island really hates this. The island, not a fan, not a fan at all. But if I take just what I need, we should be all right. All right, so we'll take that right there. Uh, the logs are nice. They're not that helpful as it stands right now, but they are nice to have. Really, what I prefer to do is I need to make a fire. That's. If I had the, there we go, we've got a fire plow. Make one of those. Yeah, exactly. Fire plow. The fire plow is a terrible method for starting a fire, by the way. It is a huge pain in the weenus. I hate to be that guy, but it's kind of a pain in the balls to start a fire with a fire plow. It's really, it's, it, it's really not the best tool. You really want a, a fire drill, but that'll work in a pinch. Uh, we'll throw some leaves in there. All right, so the leaves have been thrown. Uh, I need to cook my spider meat. So there it is, spider meat, spider meat. Look, stepped on with a giant cleat. 
Uh, let's see here. I've got enough stones that I can make a water still, but there's enough water on this island that I don't think I need the still for a little while, so I think we can prioritize other efforts. Uh, my water is woefully empty, so I'm going to go ahead and drink that real fast. I think if there's maybe some water around here somewhere, I would avail myself of it. You got any water around here, island? You hiding anything from me? Okay, some pebbles. Fair enough. An animal skull. I'll take that too. Not what I wanted, but like sometimes the gifts that you get that you don't want. Like, for example, you know what I mean? Like, I got like a weed whacker for Christmas. That's not like a gift that like I'm hyped about. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, Christmas! Like, I'm not that excited about a weed whacker. But at the end of the day, I needed a weed whacker. You know, like, I had to have the whacker of weeds. Uh, we killed that rat off, so that's good. That'll give us a little bit of stuff to play around with. That tainted meat right there is pretty bad for you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't consume that. It has a chance to give you poisoning, and just the poisoning always kills me, dude. I die from poisoning so much in this game. I'm just gonna chill right here, dude. If you're gonna run away and be a little punk about this, you're gonna try to, like, hit me with the, the ratty drive-by and then not want to dedicate to the melee that ensues. I'm going to kill you. There's no way for you to get out of this. You're going to die. I'm going to stab you in the death face with a knife over and over and over again. Remember, you started this fight, not me. You were the one like, I was just minding my own business and you came cruising up like, hey, what's breaking? And I'm like, nah, dude, like, don't, don't do that. Like, I ain't the one, man. You don't want to play around with me, dude. I made, I made a shiv out of the ass of the mountain. You know, are you, are you sure? that I'm the one that you want to tango with? Mm. Unfortunate things happening right now in this melee. I wish the spider would die, and now the spider has agreed to my wishes. Thank you, spider. I appreciate you. Uh, it's nighttime now. I don't want to be out at nighttime at all, so I'm just going to like sleep for a little bit, and then maybe I'll make another fire in a little while. I was actually coming down here to look for water. I will take that stripped bark right there, thank you. And then I will make cords. All right, so we can get a spear. That would give us four piercing attack. That might be kind of nice. I'm just gonna start a fire right here. And I'm gonna cook off some of these goodies that we've got. So like, to make the pemmican, what is that gonna cost me? It's gonna cost me my spider meat and a stick. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stoke this flame, dude. This flame keeps going out on me. There we go. All right, come on, make me some pemmican, baby. Uh, no, no pemmican was made. That's fine. You can break the poles. I don't care at all. Hey, we got the pemmican on the last go. Nice. Okay, so I'll probably make. Some cooked spider meat, maybe. Some giblets. Just a, just a few things to help me feel a little bit better about my survival prospects here. Uh, I was hoping we'd come across water down here somewhere. Alas. It appears that all the water is back at that little farm area. And now, I can't see good anyways, so I don't think it matters don't think it matters. Alright, well, that's life. On the plus side, there's lots of rocks and stuff over here, so while we're cruising around in the dark, just waiting for anything to happen. Man. That's how it's gonna be, huh? I don't really want to scramble for water tomorrow, so I think I'm gonna try to find water today. Uh, there was unfortunately no water around, so I'm gonna have to retreat back to from whence we came in order to find water, I think. Our health should hold out, I think? I don't know. Um, we've got a decent walk in front of us to get back to the water supply. It seems like I may have overextended myself. Um... Let's keep trucking back, and we just gotta find that water. So it's not ideal that we had to run all the way back here, but 
these things happen. It kind of it kind of is what it is. Uh, I'm gonna make a fire real quick. I'm gonna throw some sticks in there. Uh, you're already like dying, so like that stick's not gonna be useful for anything anyways. We will refill our water right there. We'll drink it on up. Apparently we went negative on water. I didn't even know you could do that. I'm gonna eat the pemmican right now. Have you ever been so thirsty that like you owe the universe water? <laughs> like that's exactly the state that we're in right now. I'm gonna eat that spider meat. Yo. And then we will boil off another flask here. Drink it on up. And if that fire will stay lit. I'm gonna go grab another one for the road. And I guess I could just start another fire over here. That's always an option. I can always just start another fire over here, I guess. It's really kind of a bummer that there's no... I didn't want to do that, but... I guess I can sort of live with it. And in fact, I kind of have to at this point, so... Yeah, just start a fire over here, dude. And then, yeah, just throw that in there. Perfect. All right, little bit of that. We may actually need the solar still. We're going through this water at a pretty, pretty rapid clip. Like, it's probably two days worth of water left, maybe. Maybe. Well, animal fat gave me a little bit of nutrition. Unfortunately, apparently the island... Oh, no, it actually it gave me... It gave me reputation for eating the animal fat. I don't really know what I want to do next. I can apparently make an anvil. Yeah, put the anvil down right there. I mean, that's more of like a long-term thing that you build. But it may be helpful. Uh, making a shovel would be a good idea, too, I think. If we can make a shovel... Oh, all my sticks are gone from my foray into fishing. I was going to say, I was kind of wondering why we didn't have, like, anything right now, but a shovel would be good for getting this clay over here. I'm going to throw the shovel in right there. Come on, shovel me up, baby. Don't goose egg me. Let me shovel. Let me shovel like a champion out here. Okay. I'm forced face to face with the fact that I am not good at shoveling clay. Shoveling clay, in fact, is not going how I wanted it to go at all. I had this vision in my head that I was going to be dope at shoveling, and the game took that from me. But we did get to kill another rat, so that's pretty cool. Uh, instead, I think we're going to have to level our mining like so. I don't want to, but I think we're going to have to. Oh, I can make a sail, nice. I don't want to make a sale yet, but I'll definitely think about it. Uh, we'll mine this. I mean, we're already boned, dude. We're already in the bone zone right now, so I'm going to make a campfire. We're just going to set up our base over here, I think, is pretty much what it comes down to. Uh, drop all the rocks right there. That's fine. Um, I've got to rest for a second to get some stamina back. What the hell is that? An aberrant slime? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, drop all of that and then run for your freaking life. Uh, aberrant creatures in this game are really, really bad. Uh, aberrant creatures will mess you up, and so you kind of don't want to be around them if you can help it. Uh, I'd rather not, anyways. Like, they're kind of douchebags. Uh, to put it in a very, very fairly concise word, your run can end quickly and explosively if an aberrant creature decides that it does not like your face holes. Okay, so while we're waiting on water over here, there's, is that bones? What is that? Oh, cool. It's spider web. Nice. Yeah, make me another cordage. All right. I, I, you know, I never turn down an opportunity to have more cordage, okay? That's how I live my life. The more things I have that I can make, you know, ropies out of, the happier a camper I am. Uh, we can build the campfire right there, so that's fine. The campfire is built. We've got the stone anvil. I think if we get a little bit more stone, we can make ourselves a forge. And in fact, I think it's going to be necessary... Because we need multiple bottles in order to make the 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 purifier. And so I think that's kind of where we start off from, is I think that's the best way to do this.
Mm, the other downside is I don't have any sticks. Oh, good. There's a blood worm, too, dude. Oh, man. We got, we got problems out here today. Island is just not being generous at the moment. It's being a meanie face. And honestly, I think I'm having trouble adapting to the fact that it is so unabashedly a meanie face. Uh, we've got that in its ripening stage. I think I need to find a tumbleweed. You see an aberrant slime trampling a maple tree. Your reputation is decreased by 300. How, how am I the one getting in trouble when he's the one that stomped all over the maple tree, dude? Doesn't that kind of sort of sound like a dick move that's on him? Like, I got in trouble for something I didn't even do. I'm going to eat that eggy, though. Oh, I got poisoned by the eggy. Well. That is unfortunate. Make some medicinal water, please. And I'll drink the cure-all now to get rid of the poison. Uh, that's why you always want to have roots on you. That's why I so obsessively make sure that I destroy tumbleweeds. Tumbleweeds are kind of like one of the few places that you can consistently... Is that grown yet? Still ripening? Okay. Tumbleweeds are one of the few places you can consistently get your hand on herbs. And you combine them with your water. You still get the hydration, but it also gets rid of poison, and it also heals you a whole bunch. And so, like, it can be a lifesaver. It can be helpful. You're, you you want to fight me, don't you? All right. Do you really want to fight me? The good news is when you kill rats, you get reputation. So, like, me. Like, I'll fight a rat, dude. I don't care about that. Collect some rocks over here to add to my super awesome rock pile. I don't need any of you so you can all get dropped every single one of you you can just get dropped right now no dude drop it the other way auto pickup auto pickup getting me in all kinds of fanciful trouble right now some more rocks over here good i can always use more rocks another rat that wishes to do honorable battle and increase my reputation with the island i will oblige him I feel like we're kind of getting better at stabbing stuff in the face, too. Like, I know that our tactics are probably not amazing, but, yeah, we're at 10%. Like, once we get up a little bit higher, like 30 40%, you'll start to notice that you start to land hits, like, every single time. Um, I will collect some batter locks for more ropies. I am now over encumbered and my heart is broken by the fires of a thousand disappointments. Uh, what you can do is you can make compost out of rotten meat. And in fact, I do recommend that you do that where possible because making compost for whatever reason uh, makes the island super happy. Uh, you running around with pockets full of poo you know, pocket full of poozies. Um, it makes the island stoked. The island's like, yeah, that's what I like to see. A man with pockets full of dookie. Hello, little bunny. I don't want to hurt you, dude. There's plenty of other things for me to hurt around here. There are also plenty of things that want to hurt me. Like this spider right here. I don't know if you've thought about it, but rabbit, if you would jump in on this melee and help your homie out, I'd appreciate it, bro. I'm kind of beat up. I'm going to need to start finding some reasonable solutions. That's still ripening. Man, everything we're finding right now is, like, still ripening. Uh, I can make bandages out of all the hides that we've taken off of rats. And since... We're kind of low right now on health. I'm not against it. Like, we also, I think we level up our anatomy when we heal ourselves, so. Do I have water? Okay, let's grab some water from over here. Yep, grab that water real fast. Splatty's gonna make a fire. Fire. That's a corn right there, dude? Oh, I'm ready for the corn, dude. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. That was an accident. I'm sorry, Island. It's not your fault. Um, I do need poles, though. So, like, honestly, not the worst thing that's ever happened to me.
Oh, I don't have any Tinder. Okay, I gotta make some. I gotta get some Tinder. Uh, Tinder is usually from sticks. There we go. Uh, we gotta keep this fire going though. Like this fire. If it dies on us, we're gonna have like a bad time. So. I would like to find something to stoke it with, but I don't really have anything that I think is, like, disposable right now. Um, I guess I'll just use my bark. Normally I like the bark because you can make armor out of it, but for now, we're sort of, like, just surviving by the skin of our teeth, and so sometimes concessions have to be made. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can cook up some offal and some spider meat. And then from there, what's it going to use? Yeah, do that. You can make some pemmican. That'd be great, too. And then I got to boil off this water. How's my jar doing? My jar's got 14 durability left. Yeah, we're going to need to start figuring out what we want to do with that. I mean, I've got that right there. So we've got a second jar ready to rock. It's kind of in rough shape. It's only got four out of five durability. So that kind of sucks. Uh, but at the same time... If I can make, like, a kiln, that'd be good, too. I need eight rocks. Okay. All right. Eight rocks for the kiln. Let me go ahead, and we will dump. My inventory disappeared on me. There it is. Uh, let's see. We will drop all of the rocks right there. And then I'm going to go pick up. Hopefully that slime isn't still up here. Like, I definitely don't want the smoke with that guy. Alright, so there's our rocks. I'll try to pick up the rest of the rocks. We'll make a kiln. That's going to allow us to... I think we got to make tongs, too, so that we can get stuff out of the kiln. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think there's any way around that. But we are going to pick up all of those. And now that we have picked up all of those, we can make a kiln. Okay, and so now that we've got the kiln, we'll build that right there. I'm going to have to chop down some trees. I, I need more kindling. I need more stuff. Um, I'm going to eat you. I'm going to eat you. I'm going to eat you. And that should keep us good for the rest of the day. I'm going to stoke you. I'm going to drink my agua gather a little bit more water right there and then we will make some more water and then I need to grab these logs over here it's log it's log it's big it's round it's wood all right so we'll bring it back over this way and I don't think I have any kindling right now so like maybe dismantle you ever so slightly and we'll get some wood chippies out of there. Okay. And so now we can light the kiln. Stoke the fire. And then now that we have a kiln, pretty sure I can cook this bottle. Oh, I need a cork for the bottle. Okay. Can I make cork? Yay! I make cork. The bad news is I failed at making the jar because I'm terrible at clay throwing. So that's a bit of a that's a bit of a headache. All right. Well, let's go get some more clay then. That's usually why I make two or three on the first go. There we go. There we go. We'll try again. If at first you don't succeed, fire, fire that clay. All right, so clay jug. Make a clay jug. Yay! All right, clay jugs are made. We've got a couple of clay jugs now. One of them is abysmally, awfully ruined. So, like, that one's probably not even worth keeping. Like, that one, you're going to get the drink out of it, like, one time. 
that's really what it comes down to. So I'll probably just chuck it over there for if I end up in like a really desperate situation where I need like a jug right now. But uh, we got two jugs now, two jugs of water. That means we can carry it a medicinal water, and that means we can carry a non-medicinal water. And so we're off to a good start. We're getting the basics laid down. I do think we're going to have to do some mining. I don't know. That's probably not tin or copper over there. But if we can find tin and copper, I can make a forge as well. And making the forge, we can then smelt off bricks. And once we can smelt off the bricks, or smelt off the ingots, we can make actual tools and actual weapons out of them, which I think is going to be the next step. And then once we have actual tools and actual weapons, our survival rate is just going to go through the roof because then at that point nothing can really kill us on the surface and really the only threats are going to be the things deep down in the earth when we find those stairs that go down into dungeons and krakens and stuff like there is a kraken in this game the kraken is worrisome but anyways this is wayward it's one of my favorite roguelikes hope you guys liked it uh things that i do like about this game i love the graphical style i love the customization of the ui you can move everything around you can make windows larger you can make them smaller i do like the zooming um, I do like the core gameplay loop. Not a fan of the karma system. Never have been. Uh, but, like, the gameplay to me is fun enough and challenging enough that I mostly just ignore it anyways. I try to keep it somewhere around zero. If it's within, like, 500 of zero in either direction, like, meh, I don't stress about it too much. I'll see y'all later. Thank you for stopping on in. I sift through the pile to find what's worth in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. The name is Splattercat. See y'all next time. Bye, everybody.